Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. This video presentation will be on Proposition 12 of Book 8. Before we begin, we need to have some definitions, clarify some definitions. So a cubed number, which comes from Definition 19, Book 7, is what you would expect it to be. If b is the side of a number and you multiply b times b times b equals to c, c is a cube. The other definition we need to address is the triplicate ratio, definition 9 of book 5. So if we have a series of ratios that are all equal, such that a is to b is equal to b is to, d, to c is equal to c is to d, then by definition, a to d is the triplicate ratio of a to b. And similarly to the duplicate ratio, if we use an example, and I have that a cubed to a squared b is equal to a squared b to a b squared is equal to a b squared to b cubed. Just look at that, you can see that it's correct. So all of these ratios is equal to a to b, and thus a cubed to b cubed is the triplicate ratio of a to b. But again, this is not the definition. The definition is listed right here where I'm moving my little hand. So what is this proposition? This proposition states that if we have two cubed numbers where the sides are equal to c and d respectively, then there are two mean proportional numbers, and that means that uh, we have numbers h and k such that a is to h as h is to k as k is to b, and that a to b is the triplicate ratio of c to d. So let's begin our proof. So we start with creating three new numbers, e, f, and g, such that e is equal to c squared, f is equal to c times d, and g is equal to d squared. And then we create two more numbers, such that h is equal to c times f, and k is equal to d times f. So these numbers, we're just creating them. And now, since a is c times c times c, and e is equal to c times c, that means that a is equal to c times e. Likewise, b is equal to d times g. So we have that e is to f as c is to d. So c is to d is equal to e is to f. And we also have that c is to d is equal to f to g. c is to d is equal to f to g. We have that f, oops, we have that e is to f as a is to h. Now e, e to f is equal to c to d, e to f is equal to a to h, so c to d is equal to a to h. Continuing, we have c to d is equal to h to k. We have f to g is equal to k to b. And since f to g is equal to c to d, f to g is equal to k to b, we have that c to d is equal to k to b. So by crossing these two out. And again, putting this together, we have c to d here is equal to these three ratios. So these three ratios must also be equal. So a to h is equal to h to k is equal to k to b. So thus we have found two numbers, h and k, which are the two mean proportional numbers between a and b. Now a to b, by definition, is the triplicate ratio of a to h. Again, that's by definition. And since a to h is equal to c to d, then a to b is also the triplicate ratio of c to d. 
and thus we have demonstrated that we had two cubed numbers a and b, that there were two median numbers such that a is to h is h is to k is k is to b, and that a b is the triplicate ratio of the sides c and d.